What's up my people? Nice little Saturday project going on here. Got myself into a mess. Taking over a mess I should say. A oh, little retaining wall project here. Just gonna... I just squared off the house. The base is out of square. I didn't put this in so base is out of square. Gotta cut this bank back more. Uh, load this dirt out because the dirt's gotta be on the other side of the house. For a scoop, gonna try to keep some of the rock out of this because this stuff's going to the front yard.
back of the wall. Do it with the skid steer. I gotta go get the skid steer, dress up the bottom. We're gonna put stone all on the bottom for drainage by the house. Because eventually there's gonna be a pool down here, so just want to get enough drainage in front of that wall. We gotta get some pressure on for the base and redo the base. But I should have enough dirt cut out. I'm gonna have to play with the wall bank or the face of the wall where the excavation took place. Not liking that. I'll explain that in a little bit as soon as we're done with this load. getting all my subgrade now so it all pitches out this will all get filled with stone this will be the new wall base which i'll dig this out to here because it was out of square from the building make it wider thicker bigger not sure yet if i'm going to take this wall and dis dissolve it into this bank or turn it in we excavated it so we can turn it in but not sure yet how it's gonna lay out still got to grade all this not done just getting it in along the house so everything gets out the other thing I want to talk about is this bank the way it was excavated you see how it's chopped in and there is big voids from the rain dropping it out we don't want to leave it like this and put a wall up you always want your bank to taper because the wall is gonna taper so if you have anything <clears throat> cantilevering over or undercut down here, see how you get these cracks? And you say, oh, that's gonna stay, and then I backfill with stone. But the problem is gravity over time wants to roll these out, push against the stone, and then push the wall. So you see how this one's got a slight taper coming back. That's what you want on the whole thing. And I'll take the skid steer now, and I'll just graze it, and I'll try to cut up here and get some of that out. Along the house, get the rest of this out. Got a nice pile of dirt here. You want to let 
less in the pitch. The shot will do very nicely. I'm gonna give a cut on the wall, clean it up, grind the bucket up like so, angle it so everything falls in it. And right here at the top, I'm just gonna ride in and taper this back a little bit. And if anything falls down, go back down and grab it like so. All right, all graded out for the most part. Ready for my wall base. So Monday I'll be back and I'm gonna cut that base in and redo it. And now that I'm looking at this, I think we're gonna just do a straight wall because everything on this house, there's no curves, even the sidewalks they put in, everything is angles. Um, so a straight wall will look better than a curved for sure we're just going to come off about seven foot high and taper down with the bank and i think it's about 40 feet long 40 42 feet but my subgrade everything comes out the this will get all stone in here monday as well um so we have a clean work area this will be a crusher run base this will be a clean number two stone the same stone that we're going to be backfilling the wall with so Got a little bit more dirt here to rip out. We'll do that Monday with the shovel. Come up in nice and tight. Just didn't want to get any closer to the house. You can see how she's separating now. We'll put the bucket there, roll it in. Bada boom, bada bang. Catch you guys on the next one.